Hey, you're with us here on Aspana. The Mint Luxury Conference took place in Mumbai last weekend and uh, all those big faces talking about the state of luxury in the country. The booming state of luxury in the country and it was also the launch pad of the brand new Audi TT now available in India. At the Mint Luxury Conference held last week in Mumbai, German luxury car maker Audi launched its entry-level sports coupe, the 2012 Audi TT in India. A facelifted version of the earlier TT, this comes with a 2-litre TFSI engine and sprints from 0 to 100 in just 5.6 seconds. The TT for us is the first sports car in this, let's say, sub-50 lakhs bracket. I mean, we last launched year, last, long, last year we launched the R8, the R8 Spider, the R8 V10. And this is a compact sports car. So it's different in size of size, real of uh, performance ratios in regards of price. But it's still a full-fledged Audi or Audi sports car with a TT. We launched the car the first time in 1998, and by that time it really developed a new iconic design trend for Audi. And it's a much more refined version now with the LED headlights, a new engine. The interiors of the TT feature a sporty design and it has leather seat covers that are specially treated to reduce thermal heating by as much as 20 degrees Celsius. This high-performance sports coupe is clearly targeted at a niche market. The majority of the buyers will probably buy it as a second or third car in the household. Say Audi customers are ones who value the most to drive themselves. They buy our Vorsprung durch Technik or advancement through technology because they want to be in control. So they're self-driven people. A lot of them enjoy the driving, at least on the weekends. They're people who are very successful yet slightly understated, people who are subtle, who have achieved already quite a level of success and say, look, I want a brand that suits my personality. One of our brand values is progressive and I would say also those customers who buy the cars are progressive in thinking. They love technology, they love self-driving, they love design, they love German engineering. With around six to seven new models expected to be launched within this year itself, Audi is looking at the affordable luxury segment in the months to come. The other big buzz at the Mint Luxury Summit was surrounding Christian Louboutin, the French luxury footwear designer. Known for his signature shiny red lacquered soles, the brand is associated with dressy evening wear designs incorporating jewel straps, bows and similar decorative touches. Christian has many celebrity clients like Madonna, Jennifer Lopez, Gwyneth Paltrow and Sarah Jessica Parker. Recently, the brand celebrated its 20th anniversary and opened its very first store in India at Emporio Mall in New Delhi. I know there was a lot of anticipation to your store opening in Delhi. Uh, what was the kind of initial response that you got or you've seen in the last few days? Because as you mentioned, Indian women and gems go hand in hand. Indian women are still learning or um, you know, hopping onto the luxury bandwagon when it still comes to some of these new things. I mean, whether, whether it comes to shoes, when it comes to certain other things. So what was the kind of reaction you got? So the reaction I saw uh, in, uh, at the store in Delhi were very interesting because first of all, it was very enthusiastic. Okay. You know, people have been very enthusiastic and, uh, and I'm pretty much known for very high heels. Mm. and. Uh, different I'm doing to flat from flat to, to high heels but definitely I would say that a lot have been, which have been spotted are very high and so a lot of women came and say we want also a lot of flat shoes. So I was quite flattered that you know being known for something people still come to you for something that they're not expecting to see. Tell us a little bit about you know some of your latest collections, also those that we can see in the Delhi store right now, and especially some of the limited edition pieces or the really exclusive ones that are here. I know what uh, what is in the store, which is 
only in the Louboutin store, mm. so it's not in wholesale, etc. Is this capsule 20 years ago, so I started the company. So I did that book, which is 20 years of my work, so basically all of my work. And, um, but also looking at, because of that book, looking back to what I did, I sort of thought that it would be nice to have a small collection, which is called the capsule collection, which basically captures things which have been there 20 years ago and which are remaining there and things which have always been in the collection on different, in different ways but always meaning all the love that I have for different things, for different ideas and for different, for different situations or for a different type of person. So this capsule collection has styles which, which I designed 20 years ago, wow. styles that I designed 15 years ago basically once per year and but they all have this essence of what I've always been li liking mm -hmm. birds some delicate details right. wood the craftsmanship right. some work on gems some one on feather etc the showgirls all these things that have always sort of been back and forth in all of my connections mm -hmm. what are the primary themes that we're seeing in your current collection so one thing Talking of the capsule collection, which has been coming back, is the idea of La Parisienne. I was born and raised in Paris, so I sort of have a bit, not sort of have, I have a big love for my country and for my city, Paris. And so this is represented by a bag which is called Artemis Paris, and it's really completely the symbol of Paris. So you have on the shoulder, on the pad here, you have all the monuments of Paris, but also designing bags. Designing shoes has to see with body language and so when I started to design bags I was wondering what is the body language which is important in a way when you carry a bag. A shoe it carries the whole person but a bag, a shoe carries a woman but the woman carries the bag so what was going to be her posture so it goes in a way in a sort of element which is feminine but also moving right. and so I actually thought to have something instead of having the bag where it sits to have really this element because I noticed that women when they try on the bag they play with the shoulders so a part and impo the important part is actually what you have on the shoulders right. so this bag is really in, in, in sort of honor of Paris and it's sort of you have Paris on your shoulder oh, you nice. carry Paris on your shoulders very nice Time now for a quick break here on Aspire. More objects of desire coming up. Vikram has been very busy as always. Vikram, you want to tell us what we're in for? That's right. Busy as always, looking at the best watches available in the luxury market. I've been to Basel and Switzerland, mm -hmm. looking at what's on offer this year. Here's the best that's coming up. And also the 5 million US dollar diamond encrusted timepiece from the stable of Hublot. That's coming up too.